A guitar came today. A guitar came today. And I'm opening it up on camera in case. Oh! <clears throat> the guitar is broken. I like to open up guitars on camera in case they were broken in transit. My child Elmer is a camera stand. Ooh. I'm just kidding, he's not the camera stand. He's just sitting on his pillow and watching me open the guitar. Inflatable packing materials and a hard case guitar. Okay. Elmer, hold this box cutter. I'm just kidding. You're only two and a half months old. The guitar box looks relatively unscathed, which is always red. Lots of good bubble wrap for me to reuse, which is also red. But what's not red is, oh, is it a tickle in your feet? What's not red is that just with a gentle shake, I can feel like super movement of the guitar in the case, both forward and back and side to side. When you are packing up something to ship, it needs to not move at all inside the final shipping container. So this was packed up like a little thin, but like appropriate inside the shipping box itself. It doesn't matter what's going on inside the shipping box itself if also you've got movement inside the case itself. It's exactly as if, not exactly, but it's like almost as if you had just, it's almost as if you had just shipped the case directly to the person because it can move around so much. Hey, do you think that's windy? So, always put packing material, rolled up newspapers, bubble wrap, foam, anything to fill up all the space of your case so that it doesn't bounce around in the case. Um, it's a hot tip. I cannot stop, do not want to stop buying Semi hollow body electric guitars. Oh. You've seen a you've seen a uh, a 2018 335 on this channel that I found locally to me. I didn't find it locally. I found it on Reverb, and then as luck would have it, the buyer was in my town, and so I saved us both a lot of money by. Cutting reverb out of the deal. Uh, he ends up getting what amounts to his, the asking price he would have taken, and I don't have to pay taxes. Um, and that was red. Uh, ooh. Hey. Um, this is, I'm not gonna show you the baby, but I promise there's a baby here. Like, there's a. You can tell there's a baby. That's a baby. Um, so I got that 335. That's like, that's going to be a long term keeper. The 67 335 12. It just, oh, they just feel so nice. And then, woohoo! All right, if I'm going to be disappointed, I want to be disappointed off. No, 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 no. Off camera. And there's nothing inside this case to 
keep things straight. Uh, yikes. Um, but it looks like it got here. All right. Yo. Cocaine white exterior. Epiphone Sheraton. I'm not sure if it's a a Sheraton t two or not. I don't know when Sheratons become Sheraton twos, um, but it's from the it's from the like kind of early mid '90s. I think my child I think my child touched the phone screen. And turned it on and I've had a couple Sheratons and I really really like them and I've always sold them because they were just like really easy to come by in pawn shops and I would find them for 200 300 bucks and then Korean ones would move like super quickly for me uh, on reverb for like you know five six it was just like a really kind of quick and sort of seamless flip but you just never see them in white ever and something that was not apparent to me at all when i picked this one up i had one white one i had one white one and it ruled i found it at a pawn shop for 325 dollars and then i sold it locally for like seven but there's I, but that was stupid of me because the white is just so kind of swagged out of control. Uh, well, here's what I'm... Here's the, the last white one that I had. I think the white ones are really just like a thousand bucks minimum. This, like, I kind of caught on reverb for a steal. And... But I don't know if you can tell. This thing is... It's like, a, it's not white. It is a, it is pearlescent. It totally has flake in the paint, which is sick, I guess. I guess that's sick. The other white one that I had, which was like basically from the same time, uh, was just a, it was just flat white. And it looked awesome. And this one also looks awesome, but it's all pearly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to, I mean, that's cool. Is that like more rare? Is that, what did I just do? But gosh, gosh, oh gosh, wasn't it? Nice to to find this a '90s uh, like a '90s Korean Sheraton is uh, this one was made in the Samic factory because the S on the serial number. I mean, they're kind of like an eight hundred dollar guitar at the second I got this shipped with the OG case and luckily no damage to me for I think it was like six hundred. And change with cash. I'm just, I'm not even showing you the guitar. Sorry, that's boring. I, you just got like 40 seconds of me looking around. That's good, that's good looking. Okay, we're done.